Hello and welcome to another XI Tech video. I'm Tom and today we're going to compare two popular web tools, Notion and Airtable. Both of these apps are great solutions for managing your company's data and resources, but they fulfill a somewhat different niche. In this video, I'll explain the relative strengths and weaknesses of both tools, and I'll share my thoughts on which use cases are best suited for each app. Let's get into it. First, let's take a look at the overall differences between the two tools. I'll get into the specifics later on in the video, but I want to start off with a general overview of each app and what distinguishes them. Notion is a piece of software that is all about creating documents. It has extensive formatting and styling options for your text and a huge array of blocks that you can add to any document. If you want to create user guides or employee handbooks or training curriculum or any text-based resource, then Notion is a great app to do it in. Airtable, on the other hand, is essentially a super sophisticated spreadsheet app. It's sort of like Google Sheets or Excel, but with infinitely more features for organizing and using your data. You can use filters and views to display any subset of the data you want. You can use form views to let your team or your clients easily contribute to your database. And you can use automations and extensions to build workflows around your data. At X-Ray, Notion and Airtable are both key parts of our workflows. In general, we stick to the rule of thumb that text documents should be created in Notion, while Airtable serves as the primary database, particularly for databases that support automations. However, it's not always cut and dry. Notion can also create databases, and you can create interfaces in Airtable to give context to your data. So let's dive into more specific distinctions that really set these apps apart from each other and how you can use them in your workflows. First, let's compare the first thing that you see when you open both apps, their interfaces and visual organization. Notion's layout is highly customizable and modular. It allows for almost endless nesting of your data and documents, so any page or table can be nested within another page or table. This kind of flexibility allows for nearly any organizational system that you want to create, but it can make it difficult to quickly surface a specific piece of data. It might also be overwhelming for first time users since you never really know how deep things are nested. In comparison, Airtable has a more strictly defined organizational hierarchy. All of your data is stored in individual bases. Each base contains several tables and each table can be organized into different views that sort and filter your data. The workspace holds bases, bases hold tables, tables hold records, and the records have fields. That's it. No nesting, no changing the existing structure. Notion's customization makes it great for creating specific guided paths with your documents, while Airtable's more standardized layout makes it much easier to search for data. Notion's search functions can help you find whatever you're looking for, but if your database has over a thousand records each, its indexing will likely make it hard to sift through any redundant or similar entries, making search slow and less useful. Again, the key distinction between these two apps is that Notion's interface makes it more ideal for creating documents for people to read, while Airtable is better for organizing databases and analyzing data. In terms of formatting and styling, Notion easily has the advantage over Airtable. You can add headings, drop-down toggles, background colors, columns, and more to customize the layout on any given page just right. By contrast, an Airtable spreadsheet is, well, a spreadsheet. In a standard table, you're limited to a single font and no significant style options, but you can color code records based on rules and add rich text to long text fields. Airtable's interfaces offer you more choices for customization, but these only exist as separate views to explore your data. If you need lots of options for visually formatting information for your team or clients to read, then Notion will probably be the better choice. Any SaaS tool with an API can be used for automation, and that certainly includes both Notion and Airtable. You can easily automate data into and out of your Notion pages and Airtable bases using tools like Zapier or Make. However, if you're not already using third-party automation tools, then you'll find that Notion and Airtable are not on the same page when it comes to native automation capabilities. Airtable includes some pretty useful features for building automations right within the app. Its native automation capabilities aren't as widely integrated as what you'd find with a Zapier or a Make, but it can still write scripts, build if-then flows, and automatically send information to popular apps like Slack and Gmail. Notion, on the other hand, lacks any built-in automation features. Again, you can still automate Notion using other tools, but it doesn't offer those capabilities right out of the box. 
So what if you wanna look at reports and analytics about all the data that you're creating and storing? Airtable has reporting features for generating visualizations via their extensions library, such as the charts extension developed by Airtable themselves. It's also pretty easy to set up a data pipeline into a more robust reporting software like Tableau or Google Data Studio if you'd like to have more control over the visual details. Notion, on the other hand, simply does not have any natively supported reporting. There are third-party add-ons available, but these focus on views of individual pages, not necessarily on analyzing the data points of your Notion workspace or databases. For instance, they won't let you see the number of records that have changed or meta statistics about your team's usage or project completion status. If reporting is essential for your team, then you'll probably want to use Airtable. However, you could also use Notion and Airtable together. At X-Ray, we actually built an Airtable-based analytics system for Notion. We manage all of our tasks and projects in Notion using a custom system of templates and automations. Then, to view analytics and reports on our tasks, we turn to Airtable. By connecting the two, we know how many tasks were created per project, when and by whom. We know who was assigning those tasks, who completed them, and what percentage of tasks were completed before their due date. Note that neither Airtable or Notion will natively give you these granular usage analytics, but it is possible to create a system that can capture how your team is working, not just providing them with a structure to work within. If you'd like to get usage analytics about your Notion workspace, just check out the description down below and we can schedule some time to talk. No software comparison would be complete without bringing up the issue of price. Airtable's pro plan costs $20 per user per month, while Notion's team plan costs $8 per user per month. These plans include nearly all the features that both apps have to offer. There are also enterprise plans available for both tools, but you'll need to talk to sales to get a quote. At only $8 a month, Notion is obviously the more affordable option. However, it's more likely that you'll want to pay for more of your team to access and contribute to Notion. Whereas with Airtable, it's more common for a smaller subset of your team to need access and contribute to databases. Depending on the skill set and the needs of your team, a combination of both tools may be the most affordable and the most appropriate option for you. In any case, you don't necessarily need to pay for a seat for everyone on your team with either app. Both apps let you control permissions on a granular level. You can just share an Airtable form view with people who need to contribute entries to a database or share specific pages in Notion rather than adding another seat to your workspace. If price is a major concern, Notion will clearly be the better choice, but neither app is prohibitively expensive for a small team. To sum it all up, if you're looking to create verbose documentation, primarily intended for people to read, then Notion's probably the better choice. If you're looking to create large databases, particularly for use in automation, Airtable is the better pick. However, both apps do work quite well together. It's not necessarily an either or. For many, the best choice will be to adopt both and use each one as needed in specific circumstances. If you've enjoyed this video, like and subscribe for more automation tips every single week. If you'd like to learn more about no-code and low-code automation, follow us on LinkedIn, Twitter, or Facebook, and you can find all of our content on our website at xray.tech. You can check all those links in the description down below, and as always, don't forget, keep the flow.